tam olarak çok şey de hatırlamıyorum. Benim okumam yazmam zaten yok. Sadece gördükler mi ya yani duyduklar mı? Yani kadın da hakkı var kafamda birlikte bir şey. Human rights is policing. Policing is human rights. So when you come in and you risk assess, oh, there's a fight there. What are the issues that come into your head? The human rights framework will actually say to you, safety, safety, safety. Minimize harm. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. This is the powerful beginning of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights proclaimed in 1948 by the then newly established United Nations. The full realization of human rights requires all human beings to be aware of their and other people's rights and of the means to ensure their protection. This is the task of human rights education, which builds knowledge, skills, and attitudes prompting behavior that upholds human rights. Human rights education can make a real difference in people's lives, whether a woman in Turkey, a police officer in Australia, or a child in India, as we see in this film. In Gurla Vande, Kalavit Karango, Palavida, the Rumba Chip and Anapanga Kolaila Tani Pudikapon of Nakudam, Aunga the first to Pudikana, the Katada and Anga Pudikano. Yea, Nanga the first to us of Dinjanalo, and Yena Vlavai Pesra Chad in the Chad is to blow the Pandra of Dinna, Kinder Kelia Peswa. The community of people who formerly were known as the untouchables of this country, who are popularly known today as Dalits, the people who are upper caste, consider them to be impure. For a young boy running into school, just because he comes from the Dalit community, he may not be allowed to eat along with the others, because the spillover from his plate should not fall into somebody else's plate. And it is a matter which affects and hurts very deeply the, the, the, the, the, the soul of the Dalit. So we started with the word human rights. And then we try to understand what was Dalit human rights. We understand that these are very powerful words. But who are we? Who are we? All those who are working for promotion or the protection of human rights of all people, they are all human rights defenders. First, first starting when the end of the one let Richard and other Nadan the worry training the first training. I'll end the one the Naria was single in the club, look at the end and the Pimantria. In the human rights, the Pindral Wing, when the end I is not three. Look up, up, look up on the training for Pin Naria was single Katakramudense. Normally, the government won't allow any uh, private organization to get into the school activities. It's very difficult uh, in Tamil Nadu, even in India, whole India.
UN mechanism is the tool for us to approach the government. Then again, we have to convince the headmaster on the importance of human rights education. மனித உரிமை கல்வியில் வந்து குழந்தை உரிமைகள் நம்மளுக்கு பாடம் இருக்கு விளையாட உரிமை கல்வி உரிமை பேசுவதற்கான உரிமை இந்த வந்து எழுதி போடு சுதந்திர உரிமை சுதந்திர உரிமை நடமாடும் உரிமை எங்கள் அம்மா வந்து தட்டடுத்து வேலை பார்க்குறாங்க எங்கள் அப்பா லாரி ஓட்டுறாங்க எல்லா வேலையும் என்னையத்தான் பார்க்க சொல்லுவாங்க எங்கள் அண்ணனை பார்க்கவே சொல்ல மாட்டாங்க எங்கள் வீட்டில் ஆம்பளை பையங்களுக்கு தான் சப்போர்ட் பண்ணுவாங்க பொம்பளை பிள்ளைக்கு சப்போர்ட் பண்ணவே மாட்டாங்க ஏன் அவங்கள ஆம்பளை பிள்ளைங்க இருக்காங்கல்ல ஏன் அவங்கள பார்க்க சொல்லுவாங்க எல் ரெண்டு பேரும் ஒரே பிள்ளை இதில் ரெண்டு பேர் நீங்கள் பெத்த பிள்ளை இதில் எதுக்கு என்னையவே எல்லாம் சொல்கிறீங்கன்னு சொன்னால் அவங்க ஆம்பளை பையங்க அவங்க தான் எங்களுக்கு கடைசி வரைக்கும் இருப்பாங்க நீ எல்லாம் போயிடுவே அப்படின்னு சொல்லி சொல்லுவாங்க ஆ அப்படி சொல்லி என்னை அடித்தாங்க அடித்து கரண்டியை வச்சுலாம் பின்னாடி அடித்தாங்க முதுகில் அடித்தாங்க அடிச்சுருந்த இந்த இடத்துல இப்படி காயம் ஆகிடுச்சு எனக்கு மூஞ்சிலலாம் அந்த எங்களுக்குள்ளலாம் காயம் வந்துடுச்சு ஒரு வாட்டி ஒரு பின்னு ஒரு அவங்க அம்மா என்னமோ திட்டுனாங்கன்னு சொல்லி தீ குளிச்சு இறந்து போச்சு அது ஒரு ரெண்டு வருஷத்துக்கு முன்னாடி அந்த பொண்ணு இறந்து போச்சு ஒரு வாட்டியெல்லாம் நினச்சி நான் போ இது எங்கள் வீட்டில் பூச்சி போடுறதுக்கு மறந்துருந்துச்சு அதை சாப்பிட்றதுக்கு அப்புறமேலு எதுக்கு நம்மளுக்கு தான் சொன்னதா மிஸ்ஸிருக்காங்கல்ல அவங்கள்ட்ட சொல்லி எதுவாக இருந்தாலும் தீர்த்துக்கலான்னு சொல்லிட்டு இட் ஸ்லோலி ஸ்டார்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் த சில்ட்ரன் வி கெனாட் மூவ் த பேரண்ட்ஸ் வி கெனாட் சே த பேரண்ட்ஸ் யூ ஹாட் டு சேஞ்ச் யுவர் ஆட்டிடியூட் த ஸ்மால் குரூப் ஆஃப் சில்ட்ரன் வில் கேதர் தே வில் டிஸ்கஸ் த இஷ்யூஸ் they will move move the community to discuss with the community members the community members includes the parents of the children also the same children the, there is a space uh, for the children to talk with their family itself so that that changes uh, that way we are creating the change uh, in different ways teachers children and the family members through the family members neighborhood so th- the chain will go like this in tamil nadu there is a practice in some area uh, they won't send their girl child to the school some children are asking their parents why you are not in, not sending uh, my sister to the school she has a right in a simple way we can say each child can make a change uh, no, through practicing the human rights uh, values that is important inge modha vandu teachers class ku la vandanga na kamboda da varuvanga ana inda manidha urume kalvi vanda paragu teachers ella kamba vittittu nalla anba pesra mari varanga inga pakkathu irukkaranga or ponnu vandu chinna vishayam nithi nichayam sam panittanga 13 vayasu pilaya idu pilla yen pandringa illa ta kudumbathula varuma thambi appdi solittanga idhella thappu arasanga ungalku padikkiradhukku nalla பணம்லாம் செலவழிக்கிறது படிக்க வைங்க அப்படின்னு சொன்னோம் அவங்களும் படிக்க படிக்க வச்சோம் அந்த நிச்சயதார்த்தம் நிறுத்திட்டு படிக்க வைக்கிறாங்க அந்த பொண்ணு நயன்த்து படிச்சுட்டு இருக்கு வி ஆர் ஹேவிங் ஹோப் ஐ டு ஹேவிங் ஹோப் ஆன் தட் ஆஃப்டர் மை எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் வித் இன் அவர் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் வித் லாங் சிக்ஸ் இயர்ஸ் இயர் ஒன்லி இன் திஸ் எஜுகேஷனல் ப்ராசஸ் ட்ரைனிங்ஸ் ஃபீல்டு விசிட் விசிட்டிங் ஸ்கூல்ஸ் மீட்டிங் வித் த சில்ட்ரன் அண்ட் டீச்சர்ஸ் தட் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் கேவ் மீ த ஹோப் இட் இஸ் பாசிபிள் த சேஞ்ச் இஸ் பாசிபிள் இன் த சொசைட்டி த்ரூ த சில்ட்ரன் அண்ட் த டீச்சர்ஸ் ஹூ ஆர் இன்வால்வ் இன் திஸ் ப்ராசஸ் நவ் யூ ஆர் இன் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ ஸ்டேட்ஸ் த ஹியூமன் ரைட்ஸ் எஜுகேஷன் ப்ரோக்ராம் பொண்ணாக பிறந்ததில் நான் தப்பாக நினைக்கல பொண்ணாக பிறந்தது நல்லா தான் பொண்ணாக பிறந்த இப்போ நான் வந்து பொம்பளை பிள்ளைன்றனால தான் எனக்கு நிறைய உரிமைகள் கிடை கிடைக்கிது ஆனால் அது எனக்கு மறுத்துருக்கு 
We just got to do a walk through a couple of nightclubs, just letting you know there's about 40, 50 people in the laneway as well, so just letting you know that also. Ambulance have been called and uh, oh. should be on route shortly, Eric. Call 781, we can assist that. 708-1, it was very obvious from the start that this piece of legislation was going to support the regeneration of policing as being focused on the community rather than us and them mentality. We felt that introducing a charter would send a clear message to the community about society's expectations of how they should treat one another. Australians have a very strong ethos around people deserve a fair go and the concept of a fair go all around is a key part of our culture. Uh, and so talking about human rights in an Australian context is very much about giving people a fair go. It's about the balance, the balance of the needs of the offender, perpetrator, whichever language you like to use, and the balance of the needs of the community. But first and foremost, it was really about highlighting what has long been a part of our tradition and culture, which is around affording people dignity and respect and protecting people's rights. One of the challenges we faced was breaking down some of the perceptions that police might not be absolutely focused on human rights. Now, that might be because sometimes police have got it wrong. Here is the Flinders Lane in Elizabeth, just uh, west of Elizabeth. We've got a, a drunk here that needs assistance. The first tip really was about firing up people's radar, if you like, so that they actually started looking for those issues in the workplace. High complaints against police, some service delivery problems with really, really bad timelines on completing stuff from victims reporting to getting offenders to court in time. Um, we're having court costs issues with um, prosecutions that were failing because of poor investigation. G'day Kev, uh, talking goal, code one, uh, four drive. Questions around quality of prisoners' food. Making sure that prisoners have access to sunlight. Making sure that if we're dealing with suspects, we're respecting their right to silence. The scope of the program is, from day one, it was accessible to all employees of Victoria Police, from the admin worker who takes in the calls to the chief commissioner. Because if a receptionist is taking a call, they have to be thinking about the rise of the individual at the other end. If a scientist is managing an investigation, they have to be thinking about the integrity of the evidence because that is what is going to be protecting the community. Word got around that wherever somebody has done human rights education, there is less angst when they are dealing with the community. So we started to get flooded with requests. Human rights training is... Uh forms part of our foundation training program now. So uh, uh, recruits marching into the academy or, or going to the academy for, the, for their training phase uh, do uh, uh, initial education in human rights. We certainly have to be conscious of the diversity in our community. Some have faced a pretty tough time on their journey here 
many years in a refugee camp. Some have come from countries where law enforcement officers are oppressors. It certainly creates some challenges when we, as Victoria Police, are looking to deliver services. Since we settled here as a new immigrant, a lot of our youth, they were having problems, caused difficulties of understanding how things is working in these countries. Once there is issue, they don't know how to sort it, whether with law or by themselves. A simple complaint came in that the police were over-policing Sudanese kids. Our police force is predominantly white. However, we are not going to assume they're racist. We just have to make sure that they understand there's a difference between a person and their behavior. So the person is the person who needs to be protected. If there's behavior that is deemed to be illegal, then we manage the behavior. And that comes from the accountability that is brought about by the human rights framework. Why am I doing this? Is it legal? Is it proportional? know that we're probably about 50 metres uh, off Flinders Street. So we have very clear parameters. This is how we behave with the community. If you don't, you will be sanctioned. The policeman came down there and I'm like, oh, what did I do? Or is there any problem with the boys or what's happening? Then and it's like, oh, no, we just want to talk to you about something. There is a program we're running. It's about the youth, you know, youth leadership and all this sort of stuff. Then I'm like, OK, that sounds a bit interesting. We emphasize that human rights are about respect and dignity. And we emphasize that the only difference from culture to culture is how dignity and respect are articulated. If I was to uh, nominate one key thing that's changed. There is now a common language around this stuff. Uh, it is much easier now for uh, me and my supervisors, and indeed um, police who are on the beat, to um, self-regulate, uh, use a language that their colleagues or their subordinates understand when they're wanting to set expectations around how, peop how people should behave and how they should do what is a very difficult job. It's given us a range of dividends. It hasn't actually been a chore. It's, it's actually been a bit positive to allow us to do our job better. Over the past 12 months, right across operational policing, there's been on average a 30% reduction in complaints uh, about police conduct. From that time, I started to know more about police. Here, it's all about, you know, just the uniform. They put the uniform on. That's the difference between me and them. But once there is no uniform, you know, it's just a normal person like you and me. Benim evliliğim görücü usulü oldu. Ailem istedi. Yok dedim o zaman ben daha yaşımla başımla. Ben de kendi daha çocuğu. Gelin oldum gittim öyle gördüm. Aniden mesela hiç bilmediğim bir ortama girdim. Bilmediğim başkasının yatağına girdim. Eşim 15 yaş benden büyüktü. Şu an iki çocuğum var zaten. Hiç unutmam ben hamileydim oldum ama sekiz aylı. Beni o ele tekmeledi ki. Böyle karnımı sakladım ellerine falan tekme vuruyordu karnıma. Bebeğime bir şey olmasın diye karnımı sakladım. Anneme anlatırdım, babama anlatırdım, beni suçlardı. Sen iyi davranıyorsun, hata senindir. Çok suçlayınca 
Baktım ki onlarda zaten bana hiçbir şey yok. Ben de sustum. Bazen de ben yani resmen çıldırıyordum. Ama hiçbir şey yapamıyordum. Boşanmaya karar verdim. Ben zaten ailem silahlarla peşime dalmıştılar. Beni arıyorlardı. Vakata gönderdi, vakata geldim işte. Bir kere Türkiye'de şiddet oranı çok yüksek olduğu için her türlü şiddet ama ekonomik, politik, e, psikolojik, e, kültürel, fiziksel ve cinsel. Yani bu zulmü, bu şey yaşamayı hak etmiyorum. Ve benim gibi bir sürü insanlar da var, kadınlar da var. Çok gördüm ben, sevmemdi. Eğitim bile giriyorlar, Müjgan ablam vardı. Ben de sordum, şey, Gül abla dedi ki, ben istiyor musun katılmayı? Dernektekiler. Ya istiyorum dedim, okumam yazmam yok ama bakalım dedim. Bir deneyim dedim. Ne öğrenebilirim? Ve başarabilir miyim? Bir değişiklik istiyorsa kadınlar ve biz onlarla buluşabiliyorsak bu tip güçlendirici faaliyetler, aktiviteler, eğitimlerle mutlaka hayatına değiyor. Ne yapıyor? İşte dediğim gibi eğitim hayatına devam etmek istiyor. Evliliğinde sorun varsa bu sorunu çözmeye çalışıyor. Kocasıyla, çocuklarıyla, aile içi iletişim konusunda daha bir güçleniyor. Bu eğitim sonucunda ulaştığımız kadınlar bu eğitimi alan, kendi varlığını hisseden kadına bir adım daha öteye gittiler. Bir adım daha ilerisini görmeye başladılar. Daha fazla insanlar ilişki kurarak devletin bazı olanaklarına daha fazla yararlanma isteği ve arzusu duydu. Eğitim hayatlarına geri döndüler. Yani iş hayatlarına tekrar geri dönenler oldu. Bunlar çok önemli adımlar aslında. O eğitim çok güzel. Konu üzerinde işte konu konu. Gittikçe açıldı, gittikçe yani baktık ki daha rahat, daha güzel. Ve düşünüyordum ki, ay benim bilmediğim ne kadar çok şey var. Hiçbir şey bilmiyorum ki zaten. En azından neye sahibiz, neye sahip olabiliriz. Düş topluyordu. <gülüyor> Yalnız değilim diye. Düşsem bunlarla atarlar bana. Nitekim bizim Kadın İnsan Hakları eğitim programlarına katılan pek çok kadın grup çalışmalarında gördü ki sadece kendisi yaşamıyor. Gruptan pek çok kadın bunu yaşıyor. O zaman o kadar rahatlayıp o kadar kendilerini hissediyorlar ki suçluluk duygularından arınıyorlar ve daha güçlü hissediyorlar. Çünkü diyorlar ki bu benim hatam değil. Bunu buradaki 20 kadından 18 kadın daha yaşıyor. O zaman sorun bende değil, sorun başka bir yerde. Sorun bütün bu toplumsal hayatta, toplumsal yapılanmada olduğu için de kadın kendini çok daha şey hissediyor. Çok mutlu oldum kimliğimi bir adım değiştirmek. İsmi Evrim, ismi Gül bıraktım. Süsmi Gül bıraktım diye çok gülmek istiyorum artık. Yani <gülüyor> gülmek istiyorum. Dünya yani her yerdeki bütün kadınlığı, bütün kadınları yani diyorum. Dünyada her tarafta yani tüm gören. When we talk about who is responsible for protecting human rights and for promoting human rights in the world, we have to talk first about the role of governments. Because, of course, we have to lead the cause. We have to set the legal framework. And we have to monitor the implementation uh, of 
the commitments. But this is also a responsibility of civil society. The organized civil society can play a very, very important role. And finally, the international organizations. Human rights education has to become everybody's collective job. And um, we are trying our best. Uh, I don't think we are anywhere successful uh, to the extent we thought we would be successful. But I think the consciousness is growing. And I think that growing consciousness is what is important. We've started the thinking. I'm not yet confident that I've got every single one of my members who, every time uh, they go on patrol, uh, um, it's it's just a natural reaction to be considerate towards individuals' human rights. Uh, when I'm confident that uh, I've got that, then the work is done.